<laughs> Professor Hazel Sid of the Department of Biology. <laughs> Traces her ancestry to Elishama of the tribe of Ephraim who was with Moses in the wilderness. <laughs> That's Numbers chapter 7, verse 48. You can look it up. It was Elishama who, having gotten separated from the rest of the people, wandered south and eventually brought the Hamantash into South Africa. It is thus unsurprising to find that Dr. Sid, who was raised in South Africa, has devoted herself to the understanding of the consum consumption of Hamantash. For reasons known best to her tenure committee, she has chosen the frog as her model system and has used a Hamantash recipe that involves a zebrafish filling. <laughs> Her path-breaking work on the ontogeny of commentage and consumption is documented in her 2006 paper in developmental biology entitled Development of the Primary Mouth in Xenobus. She is reputed to be eagerly, if vainly, awaiting the development of her frog's second mouth. <laughs> Genetic net 
networks make us unique life form? The answer lies in a series of experiments done by Professor Men and um, the Associated Europe's in his laboratory, and really this um, took an approach that you're all familiar with, find the genes by finding the mutants. So, in an enormous mutant screen, a series of mutants was isolated. I want to tell you just a few of them. I'll show you what they look like. I'll explain their phenotype, and I'll tell you their names. Here's the first. Do you like the really? The students call it sticky tongue. Whatever. This one's kind of cute. It's a tail. Crazy students. Oh, students. Crazy students. But this one, this next one, I think you will be very interested in. This one is So, from mutants to genes, one easy step, as you know, the genes were all isolated that corresponded to the various mutants, and they were put together in a genetic network. Here is the genetic network of the wild type homotype species. You can see it's extremely complex with multiple connections between all genes reflecting the complexity of the adult commentation. And I want to show you the genetic network for one of those mutants that was isolated. The genetic network of Simple. Boring. Irrelevant. So, I conclude briefly. The homotage an important complex life form from which you can learn a great deal. <laughs> <laughs>